Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been spooning over the brush stroke cakes for a really long time and today I'm gonna show you how to make this very delicious brush stroke cake. Also, those of you who are subscribed to my YouTube channel but are not getting any notifications about new uploads, be sure to hit that bell button and then choose an option that works best for you the way you'd like to get notified. Uh, today I will be using Stonewall Kitchen Key Royale Brunch Jam, which is basically um, red currant and some champagne. So yummy. I microwaved it until it became more fluid and then we're going to strain it to remove seeds and all the pulp. I also baked three six inch cakes. These are egg yolk batter cakes. I had some egg yolks left over from all the Swiss buttercream I make. So I made these cakes and I'm just gonna level them and then tort them as well. So we're gonna have six cake layers all together. I'm going to spread a nice layer of Kir Royal brunch jam on each cake layer and then we're gonna top it off. You can either use uh, Swiss buttercream. Today I am using my vanilla flour buttercream or German buttercream. You can find both recipes on my YouTube channel. And we're just gonna repeat this process until we are done with all the cake layers. I'm going to put a drinking straw in the center of my cake just to give it a little more support. This cake was rather tall. And then we're just going to quickly crumb coat the whole thing. And then we have to stick it in the refrigerator until the buttercream firms up. And then we can give it a final coat. I also colored my buttercream with some pink food coloring. And now we are ready for that final coat. Smooth the buttercream best you can. Ideally, you can dip your um, spatula in hot water, then wipe it with a clean towel, and then you can uh, smooth out the buttercream. I'm going to stick the cake into the refrigerator and while it's chilling we're going to make chocolate decorations. To make the decorations you're going to need yellow candy melts. Underneath I put wax paper and I'm just going to spoon little amounts of chocolate onto the wax paper. Then take food only paintbrush and run it through the amounts of chocolate in one direction. At this point you can just leave it as it is and let it uh, harden. Or you can also use sprinkles. I ended up using these shimmery rainbow jimmies. You can make your breaststroke decorations as big as you'd like or as small as you'd like. Once these harden, you can simply peel off the backing wax paper and then we are ready to decorate the cake. To decorate the cake, I actually ended up brushing a little bit of leftover Kir Royal brunch jam all over the cake and then using the buttercream, we're going to start at the very top gluing breaststroke chocolate decorations onto the cake. You can add as many chocolate pieces as you'd like or as few as you'd like. This is a really forgiving technique I find. I don't think you can go wrong with, with this one. And it's super easy and very, very dramatic. Very modern. All right, so I think I'm happy with this and I'm just gonna add three more pieces at the very top. And then since I did not have any currants, I'm just gonna add some blueberries. 
and don't forget to add some hearts you know how much I love hearts all right let's see what it looks like inside I really like this combination of sweet and sour from the current if you don't like this combination you can obviously use other jams or preserves or whatever you have on hand I can see a uh, cherry would be nice with like a chocolate cake yum so there it is nothing complicated super easy breaststroke cake I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to let me know what you think in a comment section down below thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time